Hi, friends. How are you today? I am so excited to see folks here with me for story time. It's going to be a great day. All right. We're going to get started with our Hello Friends song. I'm Miss John. I'm happy you're here. Let's do it. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Great work, everybody. Give yourselves a hand. Okay, so we're going to do some wiggling before we really get started with our stories. So I'm going to have you wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wave and we wave and we stop. We wave and we wave and we stop. We wave and 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 we stop. We bounce and we bounce and we stop. We bounce and we bounce and we stop. We bounce and 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 we stop. Good work, everybody. Do you feel ready? We're going to do a big breath in. And then we're going to let it all out like a bee. All right. Let's read our first story. Today, I'm excited to share with you Sharko and Hippo by Elliot Kalin. Here we go. Hello, I am Sharko, and this is Hippo. Ahuga! My name's Sharko because I'm a shark, not a hippo. Shark snout, gills, stylish shark shirt, shark chompers, shark belly, fins. And hippo's called hippo because hippo is a hippo. Hippo ears, hippo chompers, hippo coat, not a shark, hippo stompers. You following this so far? Mm -hmm. Hippo and I are bestest friends. I do the talking and Hippo does the carrying. Today, we're going fishing. But first, we need a boat. Hippo, launch the boat. No, that's not a boat. That's a goat. Splash. That's not a boat. That's a bag of oats. That was my coat. Splash. Okay, tell you what. Forget it. We'll fish from here. All I need is a pole. Hippo, hand me my pole. That's not a pole. That's a peel. No, that's a pail. That's a plow. I need a pole. Just give me a pole. <sighs> Forget the pole. I can't use the pole unless I have the bait. So give me the bait. That's not the bait. That's a boat and a beat. Hippo, that's a bath. How am I going to fit a bath on the hook of my pole that I also don't have? That's not the bait. That's the boat. Hold the phone. Why do you give me the boat now? Why don't you give me the boat when I ask for the boat? When I ask for the bait, I get the boat. When I ask for a boat, I get a coat. <gasps> what if I ask for my coat? Right, you threw my coat in the water. <sighs> I apologize. I shouldn't lose my temper. Hippo, 
the bait is in a can. Give me the can. That's not a can. That's a cone. That's a clam. That's a clown. Clowns are not cans. Cans are not clowns. This is the worst fishing trip ever. I want to go home. Just give me the keys to the car. No, that's cheese from a star. That's bees on a guitar. That's a sneeze in a jar. Why do you give me all these crazy things, hippo? What kind of friend are you? You never give me the thing I need. Okay. Sometimes you give me the thing I need. Let's go do something else. We weren't going to catch any fish anyway. Thanks, Hippo. The end. All right, my friends, that was Sharko and Hippo by Elliot Kalin. You can always check that one out from the library anytime you want it. Okay, we're going to do popcorn kernels. And if you have a scarf, I'm going to grab mine. Whoop, there it is. If you have a scarf, great. And if you don't, that's okay. You can use a dishcloth or a sock, whatever you want. You can even just use your hands. All right, here we go. Ready? Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in a pot, in a pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. Good job, everybody. Should we do that one again? Here we go. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in a pot, in a pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. Woo! Good work, everyone. All right. We're going to read another story. And this one is called Brenda is a Sheep by Morag Hood. Does Brenda look like a sheep? What do you think? Hmm. These are sheep. This is also a sheep. This sheep is called Brenda. Brenda has a very nice woolly sweater. Brenda does all the things that sheep do. She's eating the grass. Because Brenda is a sheep. Bah, 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 bah. The sheep learn lots of new games from their friend Brenda, like catch and teeth sharpening and tag. Brenda loves tag, but no matter how hard she tries, she can never catch anyone. They always get away. The sheep think Brenda is probably the best sheep they have ever met. She is so very tall. She has nice pointy teeth and her wool is knitted and colorful. All the sheep want to be just like Brenda. But Brenda has other things on her mind. Can you see the sheep all knitting sweaters like hers? And what does her cookbook say? 101 sheep recipes. <gasps> she is working hard on her special mint sauce. 
The sheep have never had Brenda's special mint sauce, but she tells them it is very tasty. You just need to find the right thing to eat it with. Hmm. Luckily, Brenda knows just the thing. She is getting ready for a feast. The sheep are very excited. Brenda tells the sheep to go to bed nice and early. She says there will be a surprise for them in the morning. A delicious surprise. Hmm. Brenda has to wait a very long time for the sheep to go to sleep. How silly. But at last, they begin to nod off one by one. Brenda counts them on her claws. One yummy sheep, two yummy sheep, three yummy sheep. By the time Brenda wakes up, the sheep have made a surprise of their own. Bah! There is grass stew and grass pie and grass burgers and grass lasagna and grass sandwiches and grass sausages and for dessert, grass cookies with a delicious sauce to pour over it all. This is not the feast Brenda had planned. But when she sees everything her friends have done for her, Brenda can't help but join in the fun. Because after all, Brenda is a sheep. And that's the end of Brenda is a Sheep by Morag Hood. This is a brand new picture book at the library and you can pick it up Anytime you wanted, you could just place a hold for it or come in and ask about it, right? We're open for browsing now, so you can come choose your own books, or you can always still call us and just say, hey, Miss Dawn or Miss Brooke or Miss Abby or Miss Liz or Miss Celine or Miss Delina or Miss Javana or Miss Linda. Can you please choose 20 great books for me? And we will do that. And you can just come pick them up. We love it. All right. Are you ready for a mystery? We're going to do... A super secret. Where is Little Mouse mystery? Oh my goodness. What kind of house do you think Little Mouse is in? Do any of these look like your house? We have a little log cabin. We have a very tall apartment building. We have a super cute orange trailer with blue curtains. We have a white house with a red door. Or we have a lighthouse. Not many people in Wisconsin live in lighthouses, but maybe some do. All right, let's try to see if we can find Little Mouse. Can you help me? Here we go. Little Mouse, Little Mouse, where are you? Little Mouse, are you staying in this very tall apartment building? Let's check. One, two, three. No Little Mouse there. Mm -mm. Not there. Should we try again? Let's do it. Little Mouse, Little Mouse, where are you? Little Mouse, do you live in this little wooden log cabin? Hmm, let's find out. One, two, three. Oh, boo. No Little Mouse there either. Should we try it again? Let's do it. Little Mouse, Little Mouse, where are you? <gasps> Do you live in this white house with a red door, little mouse? Hmm. Let's find out. One, two, three. No little mouse. Oh, we only have two options left. Do we think little mouse lives in this cute orange trailer or this tall lighthouse? Hmm. Let's check the orange trailer. Good idea. Here we go. Little mouse, little mouse, where are you? Are you in the orange trailer? Here we go. One, two, three. No little mouse, my friends. All right, we have one try left. Let's see if little mouse is there. 
Little Mouse, Little Mouse, where are you? Do you live in this tall lighthouse? Here we go. One, two, three. Hooray, everybody. We found Little Mouse. Oh, good work, my friends. You're so good at finding mice. I just can't even believe it. All right, my friends, we are going to do TikTok. So you can use your scarf again if you would like, or you can just use your whole body. Sometimes we like to do that. Here we go. Tick, tock, tick, tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Stop. What time is it? It's one o'clock. Cuckoo. Tick. Tick tick tock I'm a little cuckoo clock tick tock tick tock stop what time is it now that's right it's two o'clock cuckoo cuckoo Whew. good job tick tock tick tock I'm a little cuckoo clock tick tock tick Talk, stop. What time is it now? Three o'clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Good work, everybody. Oh, you make such good cuckoo clocks. Huh. All right. For our last story of the day, today we're going to read Cowboy is Not a Cowboy by Gregory Barrington. This is another new picture book, so this might be your first time seeing this one. Welcome to Humdrum Farm, where nothing ever happens. On Humdrum Farm, where nothing ever happens, chickens lay extraordinarily average eggs. Pigs roll in the mud only when necessary, never for fun. And goats eat very boring food. Except for one. Goat girl! While a humdrum goat would be satisfied eating a cardboard box, goat girl practiced the art of French cooking. I present the ratatouille provincial with a caramelized onion souffle. Bon appetit! When the humdrum goats wouldn't play a game of kick the can with goat girl, they're not supposed to eat it. She invented her own game. <sighs> and when the humdrum goats closed lookout rock over their fear of heights, Danger, closed, no climbing. Goat Girl found a new solution. Woohoo! There was nothing humdrum about Goat Girl. One humdrum day, she saw something new. Merle wasn't actually new. He was the oldest animal on Humdrum Farm, but he kept to himself. Every morning, every night, through every type of weather, he was very humdrum. Hello, cowboy. My name is Merle, and I am not a cowboy. Are you a cow? I am a bull. What is a bull? A bull is a cow who is a boy. See, you are a cowboy. Howdy, cowboy. Merle was not amused. He proceeded to explain exactly why he was not a cowboy. I am not adventurous. I am not brave. I might even be allergic to horses. Mm -hmm. Go 
Goat Girl told Merle that he could be a cowboy if he wanted to and proceeded to explain why with a persuasive 30-minute audiovisual presentation. It didn't work. Listen, Goat Girl, for the last time, I am not a cowboy. It was true. Merle was not a cowboy. But as a young bull, that was his dream. Yeah, yeah, giddy up. A dream he had long forgotten. Ow, 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 ow. A dream he didn't want to remember. <laughs> Another humdrum day. It would have stayed a humdrum day, except something unusual was happening on the farm. The farmer had forgotten to close the chicken coop. That was very unhumdrum. The chickens forgot about laying extraordinarily average eggs and were overcome by the only thought a free range chicken could have. Crossing the road, a dangerous road. Goat Girl sprang into action to stop the chickens. Merle did nothing. Goat Girl tried to round them up with her horse. Merle did nothing. Goat Girl tried to distract them with her French cooking. Merle still did nothing until he'd had enough. It was time to do something. Howdy, ladies. Sorry to interrupt your trailblazing adventures, but that road down yonder is closed. I need to ask you all to return to the farm in an orderly fashion. Thank you kindly. Merle, you did it. You rounded up and saved the chickens from danger. You are a, don't say it, cowboy. The next day, everything was back to being ho-hum on Humdrum Farm. The chickens still laid extraordinarily average eggs. Mm -hmm. The pigs rolled in the mud only when necessary, never for fun. And the goats continued a diet of boring and bland food. But if you were quiet and listened closely, The fields of humdrum were beating with a new sound. One goat girl and one cowboy who was not a cowboy were both having a very unhumdrum good time. And that is the end. Here's goat girl's list. New things to try with Merle. Solve a mystery. Bake a pie launch a rocket. The end of Cowboy is Not a Cowboy. All right, my friends, that was three books. We're going to sing a couple more songs and then we'll be all done for today. But we'll be back here next week with good fun stories for you, okay? So let's do Zoom, Zoom, Zoom together. Get your hands ready. Shake them out a little bit. All right, here we go. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we'll be there very soon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Great job, everybody. All right, we're going to do our goodbye song. And so it's just like our hello song, but we say goodbye instead. Right? Friends, little hug time. Say goodbye. Let's do it. Here we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. 
It's time to say goodbye. Give yourselves a hand. You're amazing. I had so much fun reading stories with you. And like I said, you can check out some good books with us anytime you'd like. We look forward to seeing you again very soon. Have a great day.